Yeah. Maybe a two minute for move. Exactly. You are dickhead. I'm fucking serious. I saw when he hit it. He I hit know. It I'm fucking. I'm fucking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to LSR. Hey. We are a podcast about everything and nothing at the same, same damn time. time. My name is Dre, and I am the host of this lovely show. And I'm a loser. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, paying up a bet. Yes, sir. Week three. I made, uh, yes, week three. With uh, Mr. John here. Yes, uh, sir. NBA Finals. Yes, sir. Trusting a Duke Pro. Two more <laughs> Kyrie Irving. Mm-hmm. Two more installments of my loser bet. But that's yeah, loser me. bet. That's right. That's me. I'm Dre. And I'm a loser. And to my right. Yes, sir. I'm John. I'm Mook's cousin John. All right. Call for the God. My name is Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think you guys uh, recognize that voice, and I yeah. think you guys recognize what that means. Drunk Kevin. <laughs> Kennedy. Down in the trenches with 14 inches. Oh, oh. Crazy. Well, hey, man, that might be a minor, guys. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a warning right now. It's a warning. <laughs> Sir, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, yeah, it's Fat Mook, man. Giant cousin. <laughs> you sound all sad. Is there something wrong? Something happened before the show, man? Nah, I'm good. Any meeting or anything? I'm good, man. All the skins in the building, man. You know? I get your, I get your title, man, dude. Hey, man. Sad skins, man. Sad skins. You got a story for us? Book game. game. Whole lot of games say book game. <laughs> you don't got no story for us, man? Man, the story's in a vault, man. I don't know if I was to tell it, but, you know. I'm saying, you skins today. I mean, you Oh, man. On? Hey, skins might have some stories. So you just got to hit them with it. Hit them with it. Hit them with it. Unleash. Right. All right. All right. So... We're going to jump right into our... I think uh, we might be on some social media. Possibly okay. fake places. So, so that, that, <laughs> that, would be, that would be a penalty for me because I've done a that. Warning. It's a warning. It's all a right, warning. Okay, all right. We need um, to take a shot. We are... <laughs> yeah, Dre take shots. <laughs> yeah, that would be a shot. That would be a shot. <laughs> but it's not it. You got to go Go away. for it. You want to explain this for the show after you do that? Yeah, we'll, we'll, okay. we will. All right, so let's get into our social media outlets. We are Liquor Store Run Podcast on YouTube. We are Liquor Store Run on Facebook and Twitter. Please follow us, please like us, and please vote on the polls that we put up. Yes, sir. All right, speaking of polls. And you can email us at. Uh, that's too. <laughs> hey, man, you might have to go to the box now. You need to take a shot, shot on that. Take a shot. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the all right, let, let's 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 right. let, let, let's uh, right. let this go and then explain it. All right, so anyway, um, we uh, you can email us at lsrpod at gmail dot com, baby. That is lsrpod at gmail dot com, baby. Yeah, I think I've done all the plugs. <laughs> so now we are going to get to our top and bottom five. Is and this week it will be a top and bottom five because there are actually five of us. Shout out to Ashley. Yeah. Hey, um, Yang is here. Hey, like Kurt Cobain is here. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So, this week we are going to talk about the top and bottom five ways. Well, I shouldn't say that. We're going to talk about the, for the bottom five, the ways your kids can embarrass you for the top five, the way they can make you proud. Yeah, so, the worst goes first. <laughs> We know who we're looking at. Kev, take it away. Crazy. Oh my god. If I don't have one, I can go. I already have I have multiple because oh, yeah. my children have, have definitely embarrassed me. Yeah, this is definitely a Kevin Mook segment here. Not necessarily because you know ways a kid can freaking embarrass no, I have one the shit for sure. out of a parent. And you know a good way a kid can make a parent proud. You mean the stepfather and all. But in any case, all right. The uh, worst possible sure. thing. Is being in Abington Hospital and your child walking out from her freaking um, Abington Hospital bed and just shitting on the floor. Oh wow! Uh, okay, so wow. just, just to clarify, am I writing child shits uh, on the hospital floor? Yeah, and also calls your name afterward as in making sure that everybody knows this now, is your child. She calls your name. Does no. she say uh, Kevin or does she say Daddy? Daddy. So how about accident in public? How about that? 
Yeah, accident in public. We're, we're going to say accident in public, but goddamn, was it an accident? All right, who's next? Uh, if you want to, okay. Yeah, I would say parents should go first. All right, fair enough. I would say everybody knows throwing a tantrum in a public place, yo. Okay. You know what I mean? You in the toy store or you in the market? They see a toy they want. And it's like, no, nah, you know, I can't, no, nah, we're not getting that. And they just fall out and so, throw a tantrum. So should we call Walk in here to uh, explain yourself or? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shout out to Walk in, man. I love you, baby. All right, so we're doing uh, parents. Uh, yeah. Oh, Dre. <laughs> well, actually, uh, my guy is uh, too young to, to do this, but um, I, I worked with a kid one time who... Uh, would would make these very strange noises, and I was just like, "Yo, what what are you doing? Like, why are you?" And his sister comes over and says, "That's what mommy and daddy sound like at night." <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mimicking the sounds of mommy oh. and daddy uh, intimacy time. They, no, mommy and daddy playtime. Ah, yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, so did this kid said, "I'm going to ride," or what? What did he say? I he was making. <laughs> was he talking about how his dad was night. working I'm magic? He was. Uh, he was. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> making you niggas appear. <laughs> yeah, more of y'all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to write that down. Game, you know my fucking name. Right. Shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Tim, do you want to go next? Or you want me to go next? I think I will finish this last. Okay. Uh, um, Dre is the only one of us with a son, but he's too young to experience this at some point. But I'm sure since we're all men here, whatever, call it sexes or whatever. If you found out your son got beat up <laughs> by by somebody you know around his age, around his size, or even smaller than that, you know, because you know if he get beat up by somebody bigger than him, whatever, you know. What can you do? If your son gets beat up by like somebody around his age, his size, you know, you might you might hang your head. That's true. Tim's a- man, it's about the skins today. This is back in the oh, skins man. archives, man. Amen. Oh, man. But uh yeah, man, when this kid like asks you if you his dad in public, yo. Wow. Yeah, 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 that'll do it. Yeah, that, that'll do that, it. That, that, that'll do it, man. That'll do it. She, <laughs> you met. Or calls you, or calls you dad or something. Yeah, my boo. I think uh, them asking me if I'm his dad is a little worse. Because, uh, I mean, you just don't know. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. All right. Well, then, for me, I have to wonder, is this the first time this kid has asked this question or not? That's depressing as shit. Cause Alright, uh, let's go wow, to the top there, oh, guys. God damn, that just that just killed my soul. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go to the Alright. <laughs> so what's the top? Toast? Uh good lord. I, I'm so I'm sorry, I'm still recovering. Um so <laughs> That's what she said. Haha. Uh-huh. <laughs> um as a shout now, out to let's talk about ways that our kids can make us proud. All right, so... Yeah, you want to go first? All right. Cake. I'll be honest. I'm just going to go very generic. I normally don't, but I'm going to go very generic. Anytime that you see your kid advance in school, whether yeah. it be going from uh, going into first grade, going into middle school, high school, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's something that makes you very proud. You need to see them doing so. So, uh... We'll go with uh, Scholastic Success. Scholastic Success, yes. So, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to stick with the school thing. And, uh, you know, I, it would make me proud if my son brought home, you know, a really, really, really amazing prom day. Like, he got the head okay. cheerleader, you know, he got somebody like that as his... That's his prom day. That that would make me proud. Right. And bangs her back out. I right, see, see. <laughs> oh. we're, not, we're not doing that. We're Anybody back, else have uh, a school thing? I can see that. <laughs> Anybody else have a school thing? I can go with the school thing next. I think we should let the father. Oh, well, my apologies. Father my mom was school related. I was going to stick with that. No, well, I would just say, like, um, are you drawing pictures especially for you? Or oh. just, you know, 
putting I love you daddy in a card or something. If I could draw a heart on the mirror in the fog of her shower uh, last time she was here for me. So you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Yo, who was a dad that actually said that in a comedy special? Like said, yeah, some like just some with like, the macaroni, yeah, thank you, necklace Chappelle or whatever, with the macaroni like picture. Yeah, balls, nigga. yeah, basically. that was funny. It just make you feel, <laughs> you know, proud. Yeah. Let you know you're doing a good job. Are you used to lift my balls or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, mine is uh, school related as well. I'm not a parent, so you know this. Uh, this is also related to my uh, to my bottom. You know the school. Haha. <laughs> The school calling you up saying, can you please get your son? He is beating this child senseless. Uh, I would be so proud as a father knowing I raised this boy to be able to defend himself well. (laughs) Wait (laughs) wait a minute. Is defending himself well beating somebody senseless? If the the person, you know, did something to cause my my well-behaved civil son (laughs) to... uh, (laughs) To defend himself in such a manner, I think I did my job, man. Yo, I actually had to get Christopher from school for that exact reason. Yo. Great. Some shout kid out was to like fucking with him, and Chris just whooped that nigga's ass for like five minutes straight. When it's to the point where they have to call you to yeah. to get them, yeah. you mean that mean they get they go in? Seems like. Uh, I would just say um, when you start to notice the, the child like mimicking. Mm-hmm. You notice like your influence on their life. Yeah, yeah that's I'm sure sort of that's beautiful. Little things like that. Alright, so to recap, the top five or the bottom five ways your child can embarrass you would be to have uh, an accident in public, you know, of the uh, scatological variety. Poop my pants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to throw a public temper tantrum. Uh, to uh, talk about mommy and daddy uh, playtime. Uh, Are they playing? Well, they're wrestling. Uh, yeah. To get beat up, or to ask someone, if, someone else, if uh, they are their father or mother or mother. <laughs> that would be really never mind. Uh, yeah. So yeah. the top five ways that your kids can make you proud, according to us: a scholastic success, having a popular prom date, uh, making little macaroni art or artwork in general. For dad, uh, winning a fight, and uh, being like dad. Or All right, mom. so we're gonna put hey, these or up, mom. Yeah. or mom. We're gonna put these up, uh, depending on who the mom is. We're gonna put these up on our poll, on our uh, Facebook and Twitter pages, and you guys, and our YouTube pages, and you guys can vote. All right. Vote, comment, leave comments, you know, True. whatever. And like, we'll suggest the new topic. Yeah, yeah. See, you new guys can suggest both. topics, whatever you guys want us to talk about. We'd appreciate that. Wrap the subject. All right. All right. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back. We're going to talk about some shit. Yep. You'll, you'll find out. We, we know. We know. You'll find out <laughs> in like 10 seconds or something. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LSR. We are Liquor Store Run on Facebook and Twitter. We are Liquor Store Run Podcast on YouTube, and you can email us. Hey, LSRPod at gmail.com, baby. That is LSRPod at gmail.com. Baby. Okay, so during that first segment, we talked about penalties, and, and we were laughing about warnings and stuff like that, but... It is time to get serious. So, we've listened back to the show. We've listened to feedback from you all, and yeah. we understand that we all have uh, we all have our vices. We all have things that can kind of throw the show off sometimes. So, uh, if any of those things occur, uh, we will be issuing penalties. And the penalty is you have to go to the penalty box for two minutes for a minor infraction, and five minutes for a major infraction. There are so, also shot penalties. <laughs> Yeah. Because to be that, honest, that. so far, Dre has been the only one to have the shot one because yeah. remember, he used to have the um. The so, um. Yeah. We are, true. none of us have had another one. So, <laughs> to be honest, Dre is the first one to step up and challenge himself. That is true. So now it's our time. So, um. Uh, <laughs> what would be that's a less severity where you don't want to kick someone out of the show? Should be a shot. Button. All right. Fair enough. 
Uh, except in John Cass' case, it'll make him just, you know. Well, worse. yeah, he's going to get a water shot. <laughs> I don't want no damn water, water shot. Water pistol Pete. And that's exactly why it's a penalty. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. So, we are going to uh, discuss the elephant in the room. That elephant uh, being the six-game suspension that was just handed down from the NFL to Ezekiel Elliott. You don't want to say what the penalties and stuff are? Or? Know. Just no, said, Ezekiel Elliott is okay. the Dallas Cowboys running back. He would be entering his uh, second year. And, uh, and the penalty is about... Uh, alleged uh, domestic violence. Um, it is alleged that... Uh, and, and other incidents as well. I think it, it's a culmination of... Uh, a lot of the things, but the primary well, issue is the uh, issues. yeah. No, he he beat up a DJ. Um, he exposed allegedly. Allegedly, he exposed uh, a young lady's uh, breasts at um, allegedly. He allegedly, did, he did. That's on tape. Okay, well, on tape. well factually, him? Um, yeah, allegedly, it, it was him. Well, anyway, he did this at some party uh, celebration. Or it was St. Patrick's St. Day. St. Patrick's Day. Was it this year or um, last year? And it is alleged that he um, assaulted uh, his ex-girlfriend. Um, and initially, law enforcement threw the case out because she tried to tell one of her friends to tell a lie to them. Uh, so they just pretty much assumed that everything else that she said was a lie. Personally... Um, I am a diehard Cowboys fan. I'm a huge uh, Z Elliott fan, but I am not a fan of domestic violence. And from what I understand, the NFL reached or they they, they hired their private investigators to um, you know run this case. They reached out to all of the young ladies' um, friends and associates that knew anything about it. They all voluntarily spoke up, and none of Ezekiel Elliott's people chose to speak up. Which is one of the reasons I believe that the league um, uh, has uh, sided with the alleged victim in this case. As much of a Cowboys fan as I am, as much as a Zeke fan um, as I am, I am certainly not a fan of abusing women. So, um, I mean, he got six games. I'm sure he's going to appeal it. It may get reduced to four. You know, I, I don't know. But uh, if he did do what is alleged I hope for his sake he gets help and gets his shit together and grows up because um, we all know how much of a, a problem it is, uh, well domestic abuse is in general in this country especially uh, it, when it's highlighted uh, with, with famous people and athletes um, and uh, I mean hopefully he can get the help he needs and mature and kind of take the path that Ray Rice took in making amends for the horrible shit that he's done and, and if it isn't true well um, we're not even going to get into that because I find that I, I, I have a hard time believing that it's not true based on the, the things that I've heard well, if it isn't true I think that the woman should serve some type of penalty um, enforced by the law at, at some point because right. that's just ridiculous the Cowboys but, fan of me was about to go overboard um, that's why I stopped yeah. myself okay. if, it, uh, if it is true uh, I'd Touched on Ray Rice. I, I think that he should basically get the same penalties as Ray Rice. He, he should be blackballed from the league. I don't think Ray Rice was blackballed. I think he just wasn't good enough to play. Because if he was good enough, they'd have signed him in a heartbeat. I agree. Well, all right, well you know, we uh, we can agree to disagree. There is somebody uh, getting blackballed from the league. Though. Well, and, you know, and I'm sure some of our listeners would agree to disagree there. So, there we go. If Ray Rice wasn't 29 to 30 years old, Ray Rice would have been back in the league. Even with hey, that man. tape out, because they let Greg Hardy back in, and his accusations were way worse than what Ray Rice was on video doing. Accusations versus on videos, then. Well, the reason why Greg Hardy got off and didn't serve jail time is because the woman stopped cooperating, just like the Zeke Elliott thing. So if she stops cooperating, the case goes away. Yeah, agreed. But just because she stopped cooperating doesn't mean nothing. Can hey, happen. okay. Moving on, uh, does anybody else have anything else to say about the Ezekiel Elliott situation? Um, for starters, I want to say that I don't think Adele is going to back off on this. The reason being is how incredibly horrible they bungled not only the Ray Rice situation last year, um, a couple years back, which is crazy if you think that's a couple years back now, but they Ray also Hardy's bungled too. the Josh Brown situation last year with the New York Giants and Josh Brown got a game and then they all of a sudden found out about a journal in which he documented the abuse that he subjected um, his wife to 
uh, making him, uh, making her call him a god and beating her up in front of their children. And to be honest, Goodell has had so much egg on his face that in this Ezekiel Elliott situation, um, he has to leave. Normally you have a situation like this where, you know, it's not going to be as many games. Like four is going to be the necessity. Yeah, you got to kind of set an example. Yeah, they had to because they've dropped the ball and fucked up so much on domestic violence on so many um, on so many cases, even including the Greg Hardy situation as well, too. And that, like, stung a lot of people. It, it baffles my mind that in 2017... We still can't get a fucking handle on the situation, especially with the amount of money, the billions of dollars sunk into this, the resources, all the capabilities and things of that nature. But, I mean, some people just have problems. I hope the kid does get himself in the gear. I hope that woman is okay. Um, I hope that, truth be told, this isn't a situation where it's somebody trying to look for either a cash grab or some situations. Because I did see those texts where she talked to her friend about hey, go ahead with me with this type of stuff. Um, being a fan of my Atlanta football Falcons, we had a guy named Brian Banks play for us where he um, served five years for rape. That He had, literally had to trap the woman and her, have her say legitimately he never raped her before and got off of that case just off of that. Um, and the young lady never served a day in jail time. And that's still, horrible. See, that's bullshit. That's horrible. Yeah, man. but we're not gonna. I'm not. In yeah, the, yeah. I'm not in not the realm of blaming yeah. women or anything along those lines. It's just um, with Zeke, and this is no offense to you, Dre. Zeke has just been on a very random tear of nonsense and gibberish. He's immature. Since, yeah, he's very immature. Um, with the first night, the draft night, him being in involved with that whole Snapchat situation, laid up in some chick's bedroom, just laid the fuck up. Um, well, I can't issue, blame him for that one. Well, <laughs> again, just what all happens of, when, when a yeah. kid gets moved. Well, the issue true. with that is, I don't, all of us. I don't think anything's wrong with that. Yeah. I don't think anything's wrong with that. But it's just always nonsense mm-hmm. and gibberish following this kid, is what I'm trying to say. It's always just something. The foolishness of the freaking St. Patrick's Day job where he literally grabbed that woman's yeah. bra and lifted that job well, and her titties are out. Yeah, we, we've seen this time and we, time again. Exactly. Just that now it's, it's all social media is everywhere. So that win. More so and that goes to a point Dre actually made a while back with regards to like celebrities and things like that. This day and age, you have social media and you also have hungry reporters mm-hmm. who yep. need to break a story as quickly as possible mm-hmm. and do whatever they can possibly do in order to break a story. Yeah. Um, in reference to the Usher situation. The Usher's now, lawsuit it's thing has stories you hear now. It's proof behind the story. Exactly. Like, people dig into shit. They went back with Usher's situation. Went back... Uh, almost eight years to find a lawsuit that's been buried away and at that point in time Russia was one of the biggest stars in radio and you didn't even hear about that until 2017, eight years later so I mean in a day and age where basically you're going to have a target on your back because you're known and because people want to make money off you of your money. you got to play it a lot easier you got to know how to keep your freaking situation straight um and the thing that comes to mind, last thing I want to say, there's a show called Ballers on HBO. Yes. One of my, I was just thinking that as you were saying. And, I and uh, I'm thinking of... That's um, really good show. I, I it's a fantastic show. It's it, The Rock, right? The Rock. It's yeah, but it's a lot of inside... Like It's a lot of it's, NFL it's things. It's about the NFL about, life outside yeah. of the actual playing on the field. And, okay. they, and they do a lot of real... Like, for instance, there's a, um, the player that comes to mind is Vernon. And yeah. his uncivilized Fred Reggie. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, what, what team does Vernon play for? It's he, not important, man. He uh, actually, Vernon on the show. I, think it, uh, I just would like to know. So the, and, you know, the viewers. Yeah, he, he plays listeners. for the Cowboys. He play, but, but, he, but Reggie is the uncivilized friend that gets Vernon into... Vernon's a lovable oaf, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. But his, his friend is... It's very uncivilized. So he's like yeah. somebody that Yo. we... So he's like oh, somebody that we friend, know man. that kind of goes man. along with... Uh, what other people are getting into. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, you know, he, yeah, he, goes, yeah, he goes, goes into situations where I'm getting blacked out. Things like that, man. Orange hoodie. Um, what? All right, but in any case, I hope that this all works out for the better. I hope this is a learning experience for the kid. Again, he's, I, I say, and he's 22, 23 he's years really old. Young, yeah. He's not necessarily a kid, but being that I'm 33 years old, I have to refer to these oh. young motherfuckers as kids. And well, I hope every, anybody that comes out of college at like you know age twenty two or whatever and is handed a a couple million dollars is a kid. 
I get that. Everybody <laughs> coming out of college, if you go right after high school, you're a kid. To me, to me, yeah. I'm 30 now. I'm yeah, I'm 30, and I was a kid at 20. Exactly. I, we all yeah. were kids. Like we didn't think it at the time. Yeah, yeah but so we kid. were kids because exactly. how mature we've gotten since or whatever. Like, we weren't doing that kind know. of shit. You but, think yeah. you know, but you just don't. Know. But one person that he should follow that I feel as though has gotten somewhat of a grip of his life after it going crazy is um, Des Bryant. Yeah, that is yeah, right. Yeah, that's turned turn this around. Mm-hmm. Um, they literally had to hire a babysitter to follow him yeah, around. Yep. <laughs> but the but results he, he are there. Matured, yeah. yeah. I think matured. that all of these people, everyone here, you should have that babysitter to make sure that they're li- you should have that. But that's I'm not it's neither here or now. I'm preaching at this point in time. Well, I'm saying some people aren't yeah. <laughs> some, I'm, some I'm, people aren't, you know, mature enough to handle the situation. But like I typically don't do this, but like, you know, say it's hate Dre or whatever. I applaud Goodell for doing this because after the Ray Rice situation, after the Greg Hardy situation, yep. he said it was going to be six games minimum, and he actually went through it. He didn't do it with Josh Brown, which he should have, but he said he was going to be minimum six games, so it's six games. It could be reduced or whatever, but, but he, he actually... Part, and now if they reduce it, that's on them. Yeah, that's exactly. 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 He covered his own ass. Okay. It, it could, yeah. Moving on. Um, right. Staying with the same team in football. Moving on. There's some uh, there's some more to uh, talk about. There there were a couple of trades. About, well, and, well, is that what you want to talk was, about? It was a couple was, was involving couple the trades. Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills traded uh, uh, Sammy Watkins. Oh, and, that one. Uh, who else was it? Was the Rams. The Rams. Rams. L.A. Rams. Yeah. So the Buffalo Bills essentially got rid of. Sammy Watkins. Slow, trash ass Sammy Watkins. Oh, Sammy Watkins not right. slow. He's not slow. You must all be right. thinking of Jordan Matthews. Oh, Matthews. Sammy Watkins is fast. Jordan Matthews was not. Hey man. I just said, bomb ass. Not Sammy Watkins is better than fucking ass Sammy Watkins. Jordan Matthews. All right, he didn't live with those expectations. I agree with uh, that. The Eagles got rid of a. Uh, a Valiant, oh, bum ass, Sammy, uh, Jordan Matthews. You like Jordan Matthews? I got it, Jordan. I'm Valiant. Now we see where the receiver. 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 A number one. Let me get real quick. Let me get real quick. Just a, just a, uh, a uh, very oh, shit, Jordan Matthews. Productive. I dropped it. Very productive receiver. All right, and number one receiver in Jordan Matthews. A very, a very trusted. Receiver, I, I will give you one thing. Uh, yeah, that uh, handshake shit that they did when he uh, when he caught touchdown pass was fucking funny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all like six of them. Yeah, it rarely happened, it's but you know, all right? That, that shit. So are you upset? Lies. Are you upset that you traded Jordan Matthews? <laughs> I'm upset we got rid of that receiver. <laughs> The point <laughs> that is just lying uh, ass. Yeah. A different one. Well, I'm sure he would rather yeah. trade Aguilar. Uh, but um, well, we, we, we did money. get a, a, a player in a position where we needed help. Yeah, Darby. Which would be at cornerback. Uh, I don't know much about the kids. You know, just to be honest, uh, if it ain't Eagles football, it ain't uh, football to me. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I don't really know too much about the kid. He was but, really uh, good initial, at it. Right? Initially, I'm upset, goddammit. All right, I just paid a hundred dollars for this cocksucker jersey. All right, and this motherfucker goes and gets his behind traded. All right, real quick. Speaking of people buying jerseys and their player getting traded, did Before you see that? Hold on, real, I bought real, quick, real, too, real, 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 real quick, real quick. This Bills fan got his Sammy Watkins jersey in the mail 20 minutes before the fucking trade went down, and he <laughs> added the Bills and said, "Can you do something about this, please?" I swear to God. And <laughs> what is that, that is the L of the week, my good sir. <laughs> that is a classic damn homie. L of the week brought to you by Meat Bill. Wow, Chow, brought to you by Titus worldwide. But I'm a still threat. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to burn the jersey like all these haters. I still support the players, not the players' decision to get traded. Yeah, agree. The team's decision to get traded. It was a business move. I understand it. We needed help at cornerback. Way more than we needed help at receiver, where we actually have a few weapons right now, which I can confidently say. Huh? 
that we have uh, some weapons for once at receiver. All right, we got a dwindling Steve Smith. All right. I got C. Smith. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah I got Asha Jeffrey. No, we got Asha Jeffries and uh, Tory Smith. Tory, Tory Smith. Smith. Yeah. Smith. Tory Smith. Y'all still got um. What's the Nelson, dude name? Um, what's the other tight end? Not Selleck. Yeah, Bryce Ertz, Ertz, right? Ertz, Ertz is the yeah. Ertz is Zach good. Ertz and Brent Selleck, mm-hmm. who are both uh, talented. Talented. What? And uh, <laughs> you know, offensively on the side of the ball, we got we got a uh, Legarrette Blunt as well. And you also okay. got the, y'all got the man back this year, Tricky Nicky Foles, my man. No, he's not yeah. good. The great well, guy for this. Yeah, we got we got a backup quarterback. <laughs> uh, what? Napoleon Dynamite. So, Cons, uh, I'm a, I'm a little upset with the way our um, run game looked uh, with, in that one uh, series that our first game played. Uh, I don't know if anybody watched the game besides me. How's your line? But, um, we got like negative 16 rushing yards, some shit like that. Uh, that's not a factual stat. I'm just throwing it out there, but it was really bad. How's your line? Really bad. I don't. I didn't watch. I'm just asking. <laughs> it didn't look great. Okay. Oh, I'm sad because uh, Lane Johnson is back, right? And Jason Peterson. Yeah, playing. but uh, we have got a couple couple new additions at the line. A couple of uh, people left. But either way, it didn't look good. Okay. All right. Um, my boy Carson Wentz did a little uh, uh, dipping and dodging. I put some moves on and made a couple plays. All right. And. Uh, and uh, some some rookie, I don't even know who he is. He uh, he, he caught the ball, gave out uh, pause, a couple of stiffies, fucking scores. Yeah, and, uh, I saw that. that, that was, yeah, yeah, that, that was a little nice. But uh, outside of that, um, I didn't, we didn't see much. We only played one series, but uh, I didn't. They weren't looking as as explosive as, as I would have expected. Okay, well, did you watch any of the game? No. <laughs> oh, I'm just asking. You're an Eagles fan, so I'm asking. I didn't see any of it. So. No. He was just like, I was just trying to give him some input. Yo, I'll be honest with you. That's a good. That's not what I'm here to do, Salvador. Our front four is looking nice, defensively. How's your uh, safety's looking uh, pretty good? What about hey, your good. Well, hey man, they got. Well, we are. We sure, we're trying to shore up that area. All right? And that's that's that what area. that's what the good GMs and good teams do. Oh, that's why Ryan Grayson got fired. But um, oh. anybody else have anything else to say? We can wrap this one up. <laughs> Who won that? I think we can wrap this one up. Yeah, All right, man. This is about to start. All right, to get I'm sorry. Who won? All right, uh, we're gonna take a break. Yeah. And when we come back, we'll get into some Facebook questions. Yeah. You gonna ask me a bunch of questions? Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to LSR. Yay! Uh, <laughs> you can find us on Facebook, the Twitter at LSR. I'm sorry, liquor store run. Podcast. Come on, Drake. Hey, you're, making me, you're, no. you're making, making me laugh. No, I didn't do anything. What did you're I making do? Me laugh. What did I do? You're causing a distraction. <laughs> There's three fuck ups in one episode. I think that is a shot. Maybe you don't need to drink more shots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter at Liquor Store Run. You can find us on YouTube at Liquor Store Run Podcast. Sure. You can email us. LSRPod at gmail.com. Amy. LSRPod at gmail.com. Amy. All right. Mook. Yo. <laughs> God damn. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Stanley. Appreciate it. That's a 30 oh, second. That's you a- almost died. Oh. Uh, Mook. Did somebody tell you to turn? Is that what you going to do? Uh, yes, I am, man. Oh, they did? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. First question. Okay, so this guy moves in with a woman. He pays half the bills. If she tells him to get out, does he A, have to go ASAP, B, he doesn't have to go because he pays bills, or C, he gets 30 days to move? Why, what, no! C, because quite frankly, if he's paying half of the bills, that means he has a financial investment in this property as well. She can't just simply evict the man since, quite frankly, her bills would not be paid without the influence of this gentleman. As such, she's supposed to draw up a lease disagreement and uh, dissolution 
the rules of habit sent to him and served by an outside party, and then from there he can decide whether he wants to fight it in court or he wants to move out. But he does deserve a time frame of 30 to 60 days to do so. Uh, who is the least of the deeds uh, name under? Hers. Oh, well. Maybe. You gotta go immediately. Go if he, if he fuck it up and being trifling... Or in, a, or in or in retrospect, if, if it was the other way around, and she fucking up and being trifling, if it is a problematic situation, you know, what do you do? It all depends on what their agreement is. Dre, uh, legally he does get like thirty days. If they have an agreement, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, legally, with like when the cops come and try to get my evicted, legally they tell you that he has thirty days. Uh, wait, if he's just matter. staying there and there's nothing official, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It does not matter. The cops come and they talk uh, to you. How, how do the cops know? If I'm trying to tell you right now, okay. if the cops come to you and they talk to you and you say that yes, he's been staying here, that gives him if legal right. You say that. What are yeah, you going to say? No, he's never yeah, been staying you could here for all that. his shit. He's just here. here right now. Well, if you say that, then legally, no. Yes. Here's the thing, though. If, let's say, hypothetically, if I'm paying the bills, if he has evidence that shows yeah, that, well, yeah. Yeah, if that was the question on the bill. Yeah, if his yeah, name was the, the question bill. was if he's paying the bills. So. But, but then, yeah, but yeah, if there's difference be between our paying our bills and well, naming. I'm assuming if he's paying them, his name nope, is nope. be in his name. <laughs> because I've had be roommates smart. before. Well, well, the well, thing is, smart, to be yes, smart, to be smart, get some stuff in your name. But he gets an email there. Yeah, true. Another way. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. My thing would be the bills before he gets the bills. My thing would be is yeah, get something in your name. Yeah. To yeah. prove that you are living and there. And so, like, this but he should, he should get thirty days. He should get thirty days. He should. He should. Sixty yes. days is the legal time frame. He, he should. Has to yes. Draw up a notice of eviction. That was like Move. the most civilized. It's real hard to prove that somebody's just a squatter. Next when question. Your What's your answer? Oh, I think you should get thirty days. Cool. Okay. Next question. Questions. Name one of the most annoying text messages to receive. You up. It depends on who it's from. W-Y-D. Hashtag Mook. Mook text. Two hours later. W-Y-D. You know, if somebody texts you out of the blue and you reply and they don't text back for a long time, no matter what it is, and... Unless it's a picture or a video, um, yeah, that that. Unless it's a picture or a video. Uh, you guys are wondering, Dre has just uh, Dre has been, been sent to the penalty box. First penalty. All right, starting. Uh, I now. believe he has a minor. Yes, he has a minor. <laughs> has a minor, which we are keeping track using for flatulence. <laughs> we're using. I'm keeping track of the time frame, so. So yes. far, he's about 15 seconds in. Yeah, at uh, yeah, at 6:45, you'll be allowed that. <laughs> I don't even remember what the question was. Oh yeah, um, yeah, they text you first and you reply, and they don't text back for you know, at least if you don't text back within five minutes, I'm probably going to be annoyed, especially if you text me first because I'm like, you probably didn't want anything. Like I said, unless it's a picture or a video, and reply back, uh, I'm probably going to be annoyed. And keep it real here now. Sorry, man. Tinsley. I said with WYD. Okay. Just Oop. don't text me. Or if I text you a whole bunch of shit and then you text back K. Yeah, or K. LOL. Yeah, that means that I you agree. really didn't yeah. care. The K. Yeah, I hate that K shit. All right. Um, honest answer. <laughs> Is your ex still in your Facebook friends list? No, not my most previous one or the one before that. My last two are not. Oh! All right. All right, wait a second. I think, nah, I think that was a, I think that was a mis- I think that was a part of the timer though, right? So. That was half of it. Yeah. All right, so. You can slide with that. Sorry. Some of my exes are, and some of my exes are not. Your recent ex, your most recent ex, is she in your Facebook friends list? Well, I can say this is going to be a little different for Kev, because this most recent ex has been like 10 years ago. So. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, is your most recent ex? Um, or however many years they... It, it, know, I'll, I'll leave it like this. My most recent ex um, is not on my Facebook list. Okay. 
Um, it all depends on if you're trying to. <laughs> it all depends on if you're trying to get over them or not. If you're still having issues of getting over them, it's probably be for the best to not be friends with them. But um, if it was your choice, you could do whatever the fuck you want. I typically don't delete people unless I have an issue with you or unless we're in a problematic. Nigga, is your recent ex on there? You, did you say yes or no? I, I did. I did answer. Oh, okay, motherfucker. I thought you were trying to. Come on, come on. Ladies I and gentlemen, you're welcome back to LSO. No, we're, we're still on. Okay? Oh, we are? We, we roll on with it without oh, you, motherfucker. Oh, my apologies. Uh, Dre, is your most oh. recent uh, ex? Fuck no. <laughs> okay. Mine is not it. Hashtag uh, deleted all of us. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Next question. Um, if a woman hey, offered... I notice. <laughs> hey, well, hey, hashtag we'll drink to that. Hashtag <laughs> cheers. <laughs> drink to that. I'm sure you'll drink to that. Amen. Next question. If a woman offered to take you out, but you have to pick her up and drop her off. Would you still be interested? Absolutely. So wait, what is, 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 is she paying? Yeah, she's paying for it. Hell yeah. That's a free meal and possibly some ass. Yeah. Yeah. Dre. I, I, I would, I guess I would be interested. Shit, all I gotta do is drive? I might get some dough. Yeah, what if I she don't got no car or something? Whatever, you know, shit. Okay. Basically, yeah, I'll pay, but, you know, can you drive? Another question. What is the story behind your profile pic? Black fucking excellence. That's the story, motherfucker. What's your pickup? My picture is of black excellence. Shinsuke Who is? Nakamura, Shinsuke the guy. Nakamura, black excellence. Are you in my picture with me or is it just me? Both of I'm you. I'm not sure. Both. I know I'm in yours. All right, uh, it was uh, around Christmas. Yeah. And uh, we were wearing par- uh, fucking parfum made me and Mook. Uh, Christmas sweaters. Shout out to Parfine. Shout out to Parfine. She'll be on next week, I think. Might be. I think. She says you will. But uh, she made us Christmas sweaters, and I was posing. I think I have sunglasses on or something like that, and I'm posing with the uh, sunglasses with the Christmas sweater on. Me too, I like, yeah. you know. Um, my, uh, mine is just about family, man. You know, um, even though some family, people... Man. You know, may not respect my family. You may have I respect your family. Well, not you. You know, some people we I'm all just, know. You know, I'm, I'm shout just out to the leader of us all. Um, you know, I'd like to show that my family is unified. Me and my brother are in the picture with uh, with our kids. Good. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Black, yeah, black well, is beautiful. It's beautiful to y'all, but to some people it's not. Black is beautiful, man. Yeah, shout yeah. out to your family. How y'all sometimes get in the way of that. Hey, uh, shout out to Phil, y'all. Uh, Tinsley, uh... <laughs> I want to shout out to Phil, y'all. <laughs> I tried. I tried, man. I tried. Yeah, so, uh, so did this person. Oh, uh, warning, man. She, excessive, yo, excessive I know. Warning. Bro. <laughs> he can't help himself when he comes to that, yeah. You wouldn't be able to either, man. Uh, hey, I'm come on, no, man. I do. You I do. Issue the warning, man. I do. <laughs> All right, I'm. I'm All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Yo, stuttering God. in, stuttering in. All right, go All right. ahead. All right, so no comment. All right, let's go. <laughs> you don't you got a story behind yours. I, I, it's a story behind it, but you know, you, know, you just don't want to tell. I don't think it's important. I mean, it's a quick story. But, you know, well, I'm what cool. is your profile picture if you don't mind? It's the nigga that shot Nino Brown. All right. I thought your picture was you and Brittany. No, it it's is. the nigga that shot oh, Nino Brown. Right. I didn't know you changed it. You, okay. well, my mistake. you read what you saw. All right. <laughs> Mook. Oh, my, my. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, John was same party. We had the uh, fucking ugly sweaters. Yeah, and uh, shout out to Parfi. And uh, John was posing for a picture. And uh, I happened to bomb that picture. Photo bomb. Yes. Come on, come and on, um, my waves were looking particularly uh, <laughs> on point in that picture. So you, you were swimming. See, yeah, I was I was swimming. So, uh, yeah, I posted that up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me just know I got it, all right? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what's crazy? It's what? fucking August. And my, that's been my picture since Yeah, then. well, I don't really change my picture. My last one was my picture for like two years. but Yeah, I don't change my shit like that, so. Oh, okay. we'll you, you answered yours. Oh, look, next question. Okay, next question. Uh, if you could do it all of well, <laughs> well, <yo. laughs> Here we go. All right. <laughs> Why? All right. Listen to this. Are you going to need to go to the penalty box? If you could do it all over again, would you have a baby with the same 
partnership. I think you asked that before. No, no, he didn't. He asked okay. if you would have another. Oh, um, all right. Um, absolutely, because I love my children, and honestly and truthfully, no matter what situations go on with regards to their mother and myself, I love my babies. I don't have any kids, so I guess I go with my goddaughters. She's so wisely. The parents of my goddaughters are the shit, so yeah. Yay for them. There you go. Skins? I don't have any kids. You don't have any kids either, oh. you know. Oh. So that's uh, it. Clean. Uh, Dre, uh, <laughs> the bottom. All right, Mook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question, I guess. Uh, in the Nigga, don't look at me. Next, next question. Uh, yeah. Right. No, wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So next question. Mm-hmm. I asked both of y'all. Y'all didn't. Next Dre, uh, you got no comment? Next question. I think Dre's trying to be mature and not go back to Thunderbox. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. I think you're trying be. to. Move. Next question. Or unless you're answering. Yeah, I recuse myself. All right. Uh, last thing. That's a mature women. thing to do. Who has the better catalog? This is a music question. Rick Ross or Young Jeezy? Better music catalog. Oh, Damn man. It. Music I, I catalog. Like, I like Jeezy better. Yeah. Yes. But I, I think it's Rick too. Ross. Rick Ross, Ross has better Definitely music. Rick Ross. Rick Ross is a better rapper, but Jeezy is far more. Yeah, better. I enjoy but Jeezy music better. Music catalog. I don't like, know, yo. Which Ross. catalog could you Ross listen is, to? Rick Ross, Ross is actually very talented. Shit. Like, he's yeah, got Jeezy is funny. Rick Ross actually has, like, I don't like the dude, but he actually has some songs that I enjoy. Trap music. I'm a fuck you like yeah. a trap nigga. Trap music. Ad lib. Ad lib. Ad lib. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, them ad libs is the yeah, so okay. Them ad libs are second to none. Yeah, debating, yeah. 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 Because I fucking hate him. Uh, but he's saying like, Rick Ross ad libs. But my favorite 2K yo. song of all time with John Legend is with Rick Ross, yo. That was <laughs> so Rick shit. Rick Ross got a lot. I enjoy more and Rick Ross songs than Jesus. Jesus. And I fucking but hate I like Jesus. I hate that I like Rick Ross, and I fucking hate that I like that fucking song um what's that shit called okay. Ashton Martin music for some reason y'all I don't know why I like that damn song I like can't step in this game up there man Impressive. Uh, what's going on with you guys? Impre- I think Mook, I think uh, the senator is proud of Young Mook. All right, Mook, uh, what's your what's your answer? Oh, you yeah. know I'm rocking with all Jeezy. All Fuck Jeezy, dog. A couple more. Move a couple they more. Big no, that's, beats. Um, I don't mind. Oh, that's lost it. Uh, how many questions do you have? He, he did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait I got know, one more. He lost, more he lost a lot of weight eating furs. Hair, yeah. Furs. Hairs. I got, I got one more, yo. Yeah. I got oh. Okay. Oh. You're going to ask me some questions. So. You know how many fans this one? Boss. Oh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> that, I think my you know, ad libs are kind of fun too. Yeah. Yeah. That was a dope, I like Jeezy's yo. better because Jeezy is just. It's, yo, Jeezy is a rich man. Ross evolves yeah. on every album, yo. yo. But the thing is, Jeezy is ad libs and like, yeah. I don't remember he none is, of his bars, yeah, son. Jeezy's going to give you one thing and one thing only. And I like Ross it. has evolved as a businessman. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think Ross is and, a yeah. better rapper, has a better gala. I just enjoy yeah. listening to Jeezy more because I'm going to laugh. Yeah. I know, y'all. Who was in that? Yeah, while we're stalling for Mook, while he's in the house. No, no, no. Yo, who my next question. Play, I, y'all was talking about right, this. I was my bad. My bad. I thought you were still looking. Have you guys something? I was wondering who was that we were playing ball with that was just doing Rick Ross ad libs while they were shooting. Huh. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember who that was, man. Shout out to God. Who's doing Rick Ross ad libs when we were ball with? I don't Every time they shot you. Rose. Speaking of people we played ball with, Thaddy said, What's up to you and Kev? He remembers y'all. Cool. Yeah, he be at the bar all the time. I saw him at um, the VFW oh, at like right. 245. Yeah, he be at the I see him at like least a week probably, ago. Yeah, at least probably twice. Yeah, he was hyping as shit, yo. That's, that's, uh, for those who don't know, my nigga Teddy is this little Kendrick Lamar right there. He be getting there. tore up, yo. He be looking like he little Kendrick Lamar. That's my nigga, yo. 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 That's Last question. Last question. All right, this one might be a little ratchet. Oh, Lord. Or whatever. What? You know. Okay. It wouldn't be any different. So you find your mom texts oh, you Lord. randomly <laughs> one day <laughs> telling you that she found gay porn on your dad's computer. Your dad denied it. 
But you know it's your dad because you found this same porn a couple of weeks before. All right, I'm gonna start now. Uh, yeah, do I'm you gonna... do you snitch on your dad or do you take the fall? <laughs> Uh, for your dad. Ain't no way in hell you penalty taking the ball, box bro. Penalty box for move back to this ratchet question. You got this from Spice Game. It's favorite questions, yeah. Di- All right, so. Shout out to Spice Game. Yeah, sure yeah, and they on answering this, guys. I'm voting no, because this is irrelevant and wow. Guys, yeah, man. Well, if you have an answer, you go ahead, man. All right. Cam is voting up. Penalty box, man. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys. Cam, come back. What's the favorites? This is gonna be it. You know, rapid fire. Oh, fuck, yo, oh, fuck, yo. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, move. Hold on. Can you answer the question since yeah, this is your move. thing? Answer the question. I ain't taking the fall for that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> You had to be gay. Yo, Chill, yo. Not over Gene, all right? Yo, if that, yo I'm not taking that off I'm not saying you got to. All right. Um, <coughs> rabbit fire. Just a few favorites. Oh, it's my favorites list. Your favorite video game. Everybody. Favorite video game of all time. Yes, sir. Damn. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. All right. That's right. Or anybody that else? Hard. Oh, that, that's oh, very difficult. Probably Streets of Rage, man. It depends on the system. Your favorite it's video game rage, ever. Man. Would you go back to play some shitty looking game? I would go back to play Streets of Rage. Which one? Mega Man, Mega Man X. X. Any of the X series. Alright, and so you were in Streets of Rage? Streets of Rage was that Sonic? shit. Streets of Rage. Yeah. Um, Move. Fuck skates. Chill, yo. Skates is good. Um, honestly... I know what Cavs is. I'll say I just for Spyro. I'll you know, Spyro I think they're coming day. out with a new Spyro movie. So oh, really? I think so. Is it gonna be on Xbox? I'm, I don't know. I couldn't I, tell. Can I answer Cavs for him? I thought he answered, but you I, said, I did, but you more than welcome to him. Oh, well, guess, yeah. guess, guess. I said, hold on, hold on, guess, guess. Oh, I was gonna say Tekken. Believe it or not, Tekken is not my favorite. I'm just not. Alright. I got a, I got a uh, follow-up question. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 1 or 2, or Sonic City? Sonic City was great. Hey, I know somebody else that was Sonic City. Wait. I might not be CD. Uh, and know. mine is Metal Gear Salad for PlayStation. Hey. All right. since, so, hey since y'all reminded me, <laughs> favorite video game series. A series of video games. All right, well, can I, uh, then I'm going to go. I would have said Resident Evil 2 for that first one if I know this is the final. All right, well, you want to switch that? Maybe. Yeah, and okay. I will make Mega Man my favorite game, video game series. Because that, that, that is somebody else. The Streets of Rage series? Right. Move. A series. Bad and psychotic. Uh, no. Or the Golden Eyes. No well, it was only one. It was like, only really one Jay goal. Was game. Um, I'll say the um. Well, would that count the W uh CW games on? Oh yeah, yeah, they had that. Like I would say two K. That's well NBA or series. NBA two K. Okay, well yeah. Honestly, I think about it, that might be my favorite. I, I would say it. those WCW games. All right, so the WCW because like they the had best. like WCW versus they had World so Tour, many movies, and 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 like whatever shit, the fuck. Yeah. All right, so all yeah. you had to do was push shit. a button to kick out of a pinfall. Well, yeah. 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 Um, this is where Tenzin would be correct. Yeah. Tekken, Tekken series, I love it. Tekken series, Soul Calibur. Not while I'm in the room. What's that? Not while I'm in the room. I'll beat your ass to that game no, right here, right now. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. In front of your friends and family. You scared? And it would be real cool right now if we could just like on the video cut to them playing Tekken yeah. right now. That'd be real cool. Do you have? Do you guys both have the new Tekken game? Y'all can I, play each other. Actually, actually. they don't have uh, Craig Murdoch in there, so I'm not buying it. I had it. People are fucking cowards on that game, and it was hard getting an online match. Street Fighter versus Tekken. I have Tekken uh, Tag Tournament 2 with Craig Marlock, bitch. <laughs> wow. All right, and, uh, Sounds like a Shalom. And I guess I'm going to go hey, with 2K. Some since footage. this is a... Uh, I would Twitch yeah, that. would be cool. I that would, would get a Twitch and Twitch me whooping Dre's ass. Sure. Uh, you, you can be... Okay. All right, our uh, favorite food. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Before. Spaghetti and meatballs or just spaghetti? Spaghetti and meatballs. With, with, uh, with cheese on it? Or? Yeah, with Parmesan cheese on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dre? Or anybody? Uh, steak. Steak and uh, mashed potatoes, man. Steak and mashed potatoes? Tinsley. Yeah, forms of fettuccine. Okay. Boop. What is it? 
Sorry. Alfredo. Favorite food? Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, shrimp and chicken Alfredo. Uh, okay. About the ass, yo. We need ass. Hey, uh, Casey's shrimp and chicken Alfredo. She owe me, yo. She don't know if she's trying to pay up. Uh, lasagna for me. I love lasagna. I love it, man. <laughs> who's who's your favorite athlete ever? Woo! He's just doing rapid fire. This is, these are your favorites. This is my favorite list. Uh, I, guess, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he, Jordan, he, I, I, I don't Jordan, know. Andre Agassi, man. It's it was too, only us. Too hard. So. Oh. All right, so <laughs> one of them two. Dre, uh, Tinsley. I don't know, man. At Iverson? Jordan? It might be, but I, I really like Kyrie. Some, uh, some All moves. time, Kyrie? Yeah. He, he had some of the greatest of all time moves. Okay. I had, uh, don't be late for that boat. And well, uh, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here on there. Yeah, you know. AI's a- a- definitely, uh, AI's up there. Not Randy Moss. You used to love Randy Moss. I, I like Michael Vick, I think, more than I like. Uh, I do too. Moss. I think you did too. Uh, that's my dog. I, I love Michael. Low key, I, I love Michael Vick in his days with the Falcons. I was yeah, jealous. yeah, yeah. Tim I was, was always Michael jealous of that. So you think it might be Michael Vick? It might be, man. It might be him. Man. Uh, really, yeah, Kyrie is just up there because it's a moves he made. But realistically, I think it's either Michael Vick or AI, man. All right, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You you all right over there, man? You you need to go to the penalty box. I'm trying not to. Uh, I'm trying not to. Okay. I'm trying not to. All right, I'm gonna be diplomatic here for regards to my favorite favorite athlete of all time has to be LeBron James. Really? The mo- it, the man is a freaking uh, freak of nature, yo. You can't freak. I'm not asking him. who's the best. I'm asking who's your who's Kevin's favorite. I watched this motherfucker okay. play for my team for four goddamn fair. years. And yes. I, hey, fair enough. Shit, fair man. Fair I enough. can't hate. And uh, I'm gonna go with the man who made me care about baseball, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. I love Ken Griffey. He made this young black boy care about baseball. Wonderful. All right, who is your? Uh, <laughs> Who's your favorite duo ever? It could be like a one-two punch, like a you know, Kobe and Shaq, D Wade, LeBron. Yo, Kobe and Shaq had it. I mean, uh, not not just sports though. It could be like a like Black Star, Tyler Quali, and Los Def. Oh, you know who my favorite one-two duo is, man? Who? Kenny and Shaq. Oh, oh man! Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh, so, oh, you got to name it know. or? Uh, hey, oh, it's back to town. Yeah, oh, for the ears. <laughs> so uh, I had some good times, man. And by that you mean? I had some good times. And by uh, that you mean? Oh, what a rush. <laughs> <laughs> and by that you mean? Uh, oh, you did. Redacted. Oh. Redacted. Is what you mean. Redacted. Hey, man. All right, Mook. Uh, 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 I, I, think, I think we should... Uh, you co-sign? We should let Tinsley... Uh, I, I definitely co-sign with that, man. Mook. I would co-sign with man. Oh, uh, man. Just saying, you know. We know. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man! So, so you guys are talking about like Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, the outsiders. Uh, we, did, we did some uh, some great shows. That's what y'all talking about, the outsiders. Sure, that's, that's what you're you talking know, about. We did some karaoke and everything. You know, we put on some shows. All right, move. I heard y'all like Amtrak too, like you know trains. All right, hey, hey. All right, move. Who's you know, your? Many people took the rides. You know. Here you go. We go training together. Who's your favorite duo, move? Chris Cross, goddamn it. Chris Cross, okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I just wanted to say Hold that. On. I don't, I would not agree with that. Go ahead. Say Mook. Say what you need to say. What are you about to say? For him. Say it. Or don't. Uh, on that never mind. No are, you, are you not going to say it or should we Chris move on the calf? Uh, we, we, we should move on the calf. Oh, chill, right. yo. Chill, right. yo. Right. Chill, because the boy died, yo. Yeah, Fuck yo. Wait, he died. Yeah, he's dead. Fuck you. Oh. He died actually on our birthday? Yes. Before our birthday? Fuck you, Dre. All right, Kev. What? I'm, I'm not the one that was born on May 2nd. Yeah, he died on our birthday. Well, y'all, y'all should manage yourself for that. Chill, yo. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Stupid ass birthday. Oh, my God. Chill, it's you the best birthday in the world. You said um, it's all good, man. Now, I mean, remember when we used to hang out and listen question. to them, yeah? I can't. What you talking about? We used to hang out and listen to them. Yeah, Chris Cross? Yeah, man. All right, my lot. favorite duo. 
Peyton to Marvin. As a Colts fan, Peyton to Marvin, man. I should say still moving from the AM to the PM. Yeah, that's cool, man. Peyton to Marvin. Finding those shots down the field. Man. Well, I don't think Peyton. Well, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. That's, well, that's, this look, is look, his town. Look, um, be sure to cut that part off, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, stop, stop. All right, what, what is your uh, favorite pet that you've ever had? I, I don't, I'm going to keep it myself. Shame it. Shout out to Shame it. Shame it. I can't choose between Holly and Dallas. Understandable. Man. Shout out to Dallas, man. I love Dallas. I didn't know Holly. But shout out to Dallas. I knew Holly. I was so, Holly. So. So. Not Ernie? Not I fuck with Ernie more than I fuck with Saul. That's King Cooper, yeah. I, mean, I grew up with, not Frisky. I grew up with Ernie and Frisky. Fuck Saul. Yeah, but Saul, Saul is better. Because it's yours. Oh, and he, Saul shows me love, you know? I mean, Frisky kind of Because Frisky oh, was spent 90% of her huh. life in the basement. Well, Frisky was fucking up, wasn't she? Ah, <laughs> that's the lyric in this song, but go ahead. Alright, so, so, I guess. Uh, Stumpy. Oh, 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 really? Oh, Stumpy was stupid and brilliant. I love Stumpy, y'all. That was my nigga. Didn't you only have Stumpy for like a year before I got rid of him? Hey, yo, it was hilarious because that nigga just would be hiding in places and then you show up and that nigga couldn't be out. So he just opened up his mouth and shit. I love that nigga, yo. Alright, my first frog, Aaron. I love my frogs. Uh, I'm like Mikey. Aaron, huh? I remember Mikey. Oh, okay, okay, Mikey. Mikey. Yeah, my like, first I remember all the damn tadpoles y'all used to see. Yeah, frogs, tadpoles, lizards. You know the only reason they all was dying was because it was the water was in there. Oh, I'm sure. And they lungs transformed and they oh, couldn't sure. breathe in it. I was, I was this young. This nigga used to get new tadpoles like every other week. Nah, I wasn't. We used to all. come over they here. The tadpoles would get to frogs. And then they would get to frogs. Like they would be like 80% frogs. Yeah. I they would have the legs and shit. All right. Who's your favorite wrestler ever? <laughs> Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid. Yo, probably X-Pac, man. Really? Oh. That was the way him or, uh, <laughs> Chill, yo. Stone Cold Steve Austin, alright? Huh? Probably the Ultimate Warrior. What? Yeah. Ultimate Warrior. Oh shit, who my favorite wrestler ever? Not that, I was just thinking about the Hey! Yeah, I'm stuttering people and shit, man. What? It is the Rock. I'm surprised this is very obvious. Ultimate Warrior on the Rock to me. The Rock is definitely up there. I was surprised this is an obvious thing. Everybody had it in my life. Because honestly, truthfully, it switches up. The Black Excellence is where it's at right now. Right now, he's only been around for a couple. Well, at least WWE. Right now, that's my nigga. Right now, but of all time, though, we should have all time. Oh my God! Don't say. I thought this would be a quickie, Paul. Nah, bro, because it's a not a star. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> wait, who, what did you say? <laughs> well, I said Shawn Michaels. Oh, okay, all right. Would we be honest with you? Triple H. Really? I'm surprised you didn't go Edge. No, Triple H is the shit. I just I seen hated the Edge and Chris. Um, I, I love just, I I just hated seen it, the freaking tweet that they had from like Murder back Boys. in the day when DX was like in the what? ring and the show had went off. And Triple H was busy trying to get this girl to fight. Yeah, yeah. And she yeah. On the, DX is definitely my favorite stable. Hey, shout out to the shout out stable. to the NWO twenty year anniversary. NWO was better in my opinion. NWO was my it's shit. The Wolfpack was my shit, but DX is my favorite stable. Yo, yo, that that was a yeah. Okay. Agree. Yo, we used to yeah. get in trouble for that in school. Yo, China's sex tape in the sucky movement, yo. God bless his soul. But I'm saying, man, movement. That came out of that movement. That came out of that movement. No, the, the Playboy did. The sex tape was some years after. Whatever years after, but I'm, I'm saying. I'm just going to say, hashtag, you got that. But, uh, <laughs> well, hashtag, he you got that. I see it. I see it. I see it. Because God bless her soul. Yeah. But, uh, my answer is uh, Chris Jericho. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Man. So. Um. All right, I'm going to wrap up with this. I, got, the rock. Well, I, got, well, I love The Rock. The Rock would be probably well, my top three. The Rock three. is definitely up there. Yeah. But uh, he's not my favorite ever. I love Chris Jericho. I'm surprised Ken's letting Rikishi on some free. I actually didn't like Rikishi as much. Really? Yeah. I mean, he's the shit. Like, don't get me wrong, but like, favorite of all time? I don't know. You remember Aaron um, Wood? Yeah. He used to love Val Venus, yo. I'm not Nigga, you used to Wood. love Val Venus. Hey, yo. Wow. I'm not yes. surprised. Yo. <laughs> hey, man. Shit, man. Yo, that's not the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just hey, not yo, my favorite. In the Godfather? 
Yeah, and I'm sure you do love Val Venus now, if, if you know uh, what Val Venus does now. I know. And the, uh, law business, lots of green. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, there's a new show that I suggested. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Right. If, if we can get through this show, we can work on that next. Well, that's coming out like around the same time. Uh, I'll watch both, to be honest with you. Go oh, for it. I'm that bad. is my favorite Rick Ross song ever, by the way. All right, last question. Um, oh shit, one more. Sorry, two more, two more. Who's your favorite person or type of person to follow on social media? Uh, niggas like DJ Khaled, yo. Okay. He's uh, very uplifting and uh, spiriting in his uh, like Red his Run. posts and stuff. Yeah. Positive. It's positive all positive. People. He's real big on positive energy and stuff like that. Randomly, Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea Clinton is freaking snarky, hilarious, takes no shit, but she's also a good fucking person to follow. Right. Um, I, I I actually don't really follow any famous people. I, I follow Under Armour. Well, I'm saying your favorite. It doesn't need. They don't need um, to be famous. The type of person. Yeah, somebody somebody motivation, people somebody who post motivational, motivational quotes. Okay. There you go. But I, like clever humor, not like easy, like, you know. I get you. I get that's, you. That's kind of like why I like Chelsea Clinton. Mook. I'm sure that's why. Who Mook is like. Hookers? Pass me the staple. And Wait, by, I'm sorry. Hold, 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 by, hold on. And by hookers, you mean? Back page. Women who sell sucks for money. And posting videos on Twitter, yeah. To be honest, I thought I was going to be the dude because I was going to say, women who show the titties on Facebook, man. <laughs> <laughs> or well, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I'm out. I don't really know who's Facebook. Well, it's well, not the fucking thing or it's Twitter, yeah. Well, uh, they can do well I until they can take it out. I love you all. Women, women who show their titties on uh, Twitter, man, you know? Hey, you just. Well, hey man, I ain't gonna put the business out there. Skins, hey man, let's uh, <laughs> remember, uh, let's remember Panama, skins, all right? So I got- <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, yeah. So, uh, in this like I do every week, what is the best thing to happen to you this week? Um, me and my baby had a real good night uh, last night. She had off. Mm. Uh, we, you wanna, just a, we just had a good night together. What kind of what kind of good night are you talking about? That shucks. Uh, hey, hey, let him explain uh, it, man. Yeah, we just had it. We just, you know, like, like you know, every couple goes through the ups and downs. We've just been arguing about dumb shit, but we just had like a good night together. We went out. We got some food. You know, it was just a good evening. The whole night was just good vibes. Had a good time. Man. Did you did you have any leftovers memories. that you uh, ate when you got home? Or, uh, uh, yeah, I, I had a little when I got home, a little bit in the morning. Okay. And uh, you know, it was, just, it was just a good time, man. Good okay. night. Nice shot to you, man. Move. I got walking. Okay. Right. okay. Um, successful job interview. Shout out to you. Good luck, Drake. Well, um, I wasn't here last week, and I can't tell you the thing that happened to me this week because it's kind of like well, if somebody's last week, you can do that. But uh, the boy took his first steps last week, man. Yeah. Shout out to Baby Eight. Yeah, shout out to him, man. Shout out, man. Shout out, out, man. Congratulations, man. man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm proud though. He was working on his percussions with you, and you were playing your freaking guitar. Yeah, he was killing it, man. He yeah, man. He, and he figured out how to strum the guitar. That's so pretty good. Shit, man. Congratulations, man. man. And my, much like last week, uh, being petty with my neighbors at work. If you motherfuckers don't want to move y'all cars, I will leave trash bags on your fucking car. Move your fucking cars, Hong oh, Kong motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking ass. Your friend from there is always sunny and cool. I never watched him. It's always sunny and cool. He's Danny DeVito's character. Oh, Danny DeVito. Shout out to Danny DeVito. He's funny as hell, man. <laughs> never watched the show. <laughs> Don't watch it, bitch. Hey, Dre, you want to wrap us up or? All right, ladies Does anybody else have any questions? Um, All right, well, I wrap us up. Wasn't there a question that, that was floating around that we were supposed to ask? You posted it on, uh, oh, yeah, the uh, the question about the, the bail and the college tuition. I'll ask it. You want to do that? Okay, go ahead. Okay. So you have two kids. One of them... I tagged that Mook's Facebook question. Go one ahead. of them goes to jail, okay? And one of them's going to college. You have enough money to pay for one. Which one do you pay for? Well, I think the question is... Uh, the answer's in the question. Simple. So, the question was, you have two kids. Uh-huh. One of them's going to college. Uh-huh. One of them's going to jail. Uh-huh. Why the fuck am I going to pay for you to go to jail? Uh, are you going to pay to bail him out of jail? Or are you going to pay the or, college tuition? Or, turn it down a little bit, please. Thank you. All right. So, 
I've got two kids. One of them's going to college. One of them's going to jail. Correct. If I can pay to bail them out, that means they have an impending trial coming up because uh, obviously it's something that they've got to prove their innocence for. To bail them out means that they will let them out for the time being, but they have to... They're, they're still under... Basically, they're under incarceration. They have a, a more shit to come about. Mm-hmm. Why am I going to pay for them to come out of jail when obviously they're already fucked up? So they... <laughs> Two minutes. Out. Two minutes. Five. Yo, five. That's your yeah, second that's infraction. That's second infraction. That's a five. That's a, a major. Infarction. That's a major. Hold on. Let me, uh... God damn it, Go talk to your man, Joe. Yo, he drunk as shit, yo. No, no, but that was funny as hell. All right, then. Five <laughs> minutes. Okay. All right. Oh. So, yeah, why am I going to pay to to take a child out of jail now that they fucked up and they need to learn the lesson when I have, excuse me, a child that is doing everything right and deserves to have uh, as, as much backing behind them? Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be there for my other child as much as I can, but if my other child, my other child obviously, is, is, if they're doing right, they have a future ahead of them mm-hmm. more so than this one that is just jeopardize their future. Yep. So I'm going to go with the positive behavior and enforce that positive behavior and send my child to college. If I can, I'm going to split half and half, but if I can't, send my child to college. Mook. College. College. <laughs> Kev. Um, my bull. It's hard to say, though, because that child that's in jail needs you now more than ever. But. It probably depends on what they in jail for. I feel <laughs> that. Also true. Now, my um, bull, God worked with me and Tom McGee. in jail for some shit that's going to cost you a college tuition. Yep. Um, he was old, he was Irish, and he was racist as shit. Wow. But uh, we got along because we worked together. In any case, he's been <laughs> in jail before. Nah, man. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. It does, Hashtag actually. America. Hashtag America. America. Hashtag America. But in any case, um, uh, he went to... I got some shit to show y'all. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, yo. Oh. Whoa. Do you need to go to the penalty box, sir? You can go show him. In any case, um, he went to jail. He did um, a, I think he did 18 months, and his family let him stay in jail. You gotta read it, yo. I I think you posted that on the the Um, chat. You gotta read it. Okay. Because he, um, his dad showed up afterwards, looked him in the eye, and said, boy, are you done? He's like, yeah, get me the fuck out of here. Um, I'm sending my kid to college, man. Because if you're acting up and you're getting caught up and you're going to jail, whatever situation that got you that you're getting yeah, you caught up and going to jail, you need to learn. A, I'm going to bail you out, but B, I'm going to have to pay for your lawyer. Even though you might get a public defender, I'm still going to have to wind up giving out more and more money. And while one you. kid has to be stagnant because of your monkey ass bullshit and shenanigans, I'm not for that shit, man. My whole thing is life is all about learning. Yeah, my one kid is trying to go to college to learn. And my other kid is trying to go to jail to learn. Either yeah. way, you're going to fucking learn. Amen. Um, and my answer, you know, um, it, it's hard. It's so it's, hard. It, it'll, it would be hard for them to prove their innocence. If they don't think they did it, you kind of got to ride with them, right? Not bailing them out is not riding, not, not riding with them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're, just, you're just saying that, look, I don't, I don't know, but... I mean, and even that kid has got to understand, like, look, I can either get you out of jail or I can send you sipping to college. Yeah, I, I would hope they would understand. And the thing is, at the end of the day, if you send that other child to college, maybe they would make enough money to help the other person, the other kid in the future. Right, it's, but it's the, you got to give them that chance. Right? Yeah, because I wouldn't want to clip the wings of one yeah, that's what to you're, you're help support one child yeah. to help the other one out who's... Who's who's? And not to say that they might not have could done be more. fucking could be a up. whole frame thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I would I would hope. Yeah, now I'm still going to gonna be there for you any way mm-hmm. I can. But you know, just if I got two kids, you got to make that decision. Like, yeah, know. I would I would rather help. Uh, the only the way I can go about it is if the other child says no, get them out of jail. Like, All right. Uh, but excuse me, my right. whole thing is that, and, and follow up to that question, um, you do bail them out. And then you find out that they did do it. Then what? I would feel like How a fucking you? dick, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if they got to go back to jail. you just jumping on both hey, of your kids. You, you sit over there in the penalty box, all right? Yeah, come on. You're not in the show. Uh, you just jumping on both. I think it should be another minute added on. Agreed. <laughs> Done. Another misdemeanor. Tinsley, wrap this in a break. Yeah.
Huh? Rappers, Rappers to the drink. drink, man. We got a host. Everybody else done it before you got it, man. Oh, I feel like I'm kind of put on the spot. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah, you are. we've all hosted. Come on, man. Let's wrap us in the break. I don't really know what's uh, coming up next here. Uh, well, just, just say. Ooh. Wait, wait. Yeah. Are, we doing, are we doing. So ah, I mean, I are we doing spooky stories? Are we doing this week on the internet? What are we doing? Might be uh, Skins Hit of the Week. Uh, I don't Is know. that what you want? Maybe so. Yeah, all right. But uh, Talk about we'll it, find out uh, after these messages. We'll be right back. G- oh. Gentlemen, we are back to another segment of LSR. Sir, tell them who you are. Your I host. am uh, the temporary host, uh, Ralph Cousteau. Uh, Mr. Senator? The Senator, Ralph Cousteau. Um, this episode, I believe I am Skins, though. So, uh, you know, right. that's how it is. But uh, moving on, we, uh, we are about to uh, embark on uh, everyone's favorite segment. Not my own. Mooks, spooky stories. Yeah. Spooky stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Hey, you sit your ass in the penalty box, boy. All right. I talk about. Uh, I think I'm out of sex stories, yeah. <laughs> so um, you need to start getting some more. Uh, you know. Yeah, speaking of, um, question. What? Um, just real, real quick. Um, I think that's the timer. And you are out of the All penalty right, box. now Dre is out of the penalty box. Did you box. get your, um, that B plus <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LSR. We, we, already, we, already, we already won, man. We already, we already did the plug for Mooks Woody Stories? Yes, we did. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I had the music playing, Dre. Oh, my, my, my. All right. Back. Continue, please. Wait, so, um, I'm going to talk about some more fights, goddammit. Alright. Now, I talked about fights in school, but I did talk about fights at summer camp. You want to talk about fights at the bus, or? Which was the actual <laughs> summer, the fucking Terror Dome, alright? the day camp? Yes, sir. From, At the uh, Y. What time did it start? The Y on the... Uh, like, what time did it... With, like, morning... Germantown? Day camp, right? No, no. What was it? It was on Green... Yeah, what time did it start? I don't green green and, uh, it doesn't exist anymore, but I know what... It don't exist about. no more? Nah, I almost bought that building. Damn. But, uh... So, wait. What time did it start in the morning? Like Roughly. Seven or eight? And what time did it end? No, it ended, like, five or six. You, sorry, man. I'm sorry. Hey, but okay. if you left early, it would be a Fuck you, nah, 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 yo, move early, yo. <laughs> but if, but I'm, I'm saying, but if, but if Uncle Gene picked me up and she got off of work, it was like six of them, yeah. Fuck you, But if Uncle Gene picked you up, it would be around what time? So it was sometime in Three. between. Three. 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 Fuck Three. you, yeah. Fuck you, move. All right, let me ask this. With this daycare, did you uh, play some basketball? Did you win yeah. your own basketball? No, no, it was not like that, yeah. But it, I definitely got into plenty of fights at the Y. Uh, the, a lot of kids from my school went there, so if I had an issue with you in school, <laughs> I might have waited. If I knew you was coming to camp, I might have waited for you at camp. Because I didn't want to get suspended from school because i get a, a ass whooping for that. But uh, summer camp, all they did was sit you in the corner and take your snacks away. Uh, so, uh, it was all good, didn't it, all right? One quick question. Are yes, you sir. afraid that these people may think you're some sort of ruffian or something? Oh, who? Who, yeah? The, the people who listen to us. The, you know, these people that listen to us. No, everybody knows I'm a good dude, yeah? What are you oh, talking okay. about, yeah? As long as she doesn't have a door in his hand, I'm throwing someone to the door. Hey, 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 oh, now. Yeah. You, you may need to, uh... <laughs> so, anyway, I want to talk about one of these fights, all right? One of So, um... It was this kid, and John knew him, but he don't seem to remember him. This kid named uh, Evan. I don't know who that guy is. Yeah. Well, we played basketball with him. He was, like, around your way and randomly walked past your driveway, and we ended up playing basketball with him. Is that the dude you talking about Devin liked or whatever? No, no, that was Joe. I don't fucking know these people. That was Joe, all right? But, um, anyway... 
So uh, he had a he had a stepbrother. Now I had already beat De- e- uh, Evan up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yo, I had already better beat- not be beating Evan up. No, right? never, yo. All right. I had already beat Evan up. So um, his stepbrother had came to the camp, yo. So I'm not going to front. Evan was with this dude who kind of ran our little um, our group. Because his mom worked at the Y, so like, if you if you fucked with him, like you could get in serious trouble and shit. So this dude, he like kind of ran the group because nobody kind of could touch him. So he was a bully, like. So this dude Evan was like best friends with him. But anyway, I beat Evan up. <laughs> so he didn't have to get any of his minions or goons first. No, he ain't getting none of his goons. I think the dude was just like, yo, don't mess with my or some shit. Okay. But anyway, his his god brother had came to camp. So I don't know if they gave him the run around or whatever and was like, yo, like this is our shit, like don't worry about it, like we run this shit, you can do what you want. So um he was bullying people. So we used to have this little play section or whatever where like they would just basically like they would get a bag of um like different types of sports Balls, like it would be basketballs, kickballs, baseballs, and they would carry them in a big knapsack and Why? just throw them, throw them at, er- throw them out or well, whatever. Yeah. I mean, if they if they put the baseballs, oh, the basketballs, sorry. and the you said soccer balls or footballs, it would be soccer balls, soccer kickballs, balls, kickballs, basketballs, basketballs baseballs. So, that wouldn't be a knapsack; it would be a ball sack, wouldn't it? Five minutes, Jack. Go ahead. Go. 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 I vote. Yay or nay? Jam of your dream, yeah. Y'all got it. Y'all got to vote. I thought uh, only one person had to vote. I'm getting the timer ready. <laughs> no. No, that's two votes. Y'all no, still got no. two. Yo, yo, yo. 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 And starting and the quote unquote mature one of us has been sent to the penalty box three times. It could have happened. Oh, that was go, funny. Go, go. I'm not saying it wasn't. It was hilarious. So, go. It's, it's successive, so, man. So, basketball, successive. right? <laughs> so, is it the basketball? Bet? Stop, Jeff. Yeah, stop right. before you no. get a list of me. A, a minor. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Um, it was like, it was like, pause, it was like two good basketballs, and the rest of them was like trash, they had no grip on them or whatever. Okay, so they're only so, two good balls. Yeah. So, <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Good warning. All right, good warning. Good warning. Okay, okay. Good warning. All right, all right, all right, all right. I apologize. So, <laughs> they oh, fucking God. laughed, yo. So, God um, damn it, I missed out on the better one. The older Can I get a pass real quick? Go for it. Uh, just a pair, a pair of good balls. <laughs> oh, Honestly, you were fine with the first one. So the older kids got one of them. I thought you were going to get a minor for that would not be as good as you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. And uh, so we, uh, one of my friends grabbed one of the other good ones, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> The right so, or left? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you made up for it. You made up for it. Yo, get this thing out of here, yo. Yeah. You get a minor. You gotta get a minor, girl. You gotta get a minor, girl. It was three in a row, man. All right, okay. All right. So, um. See how motherfuckers win. It's 724, so 726. I, I, I got it. I'll see him in a minute 20. <laughs> All right, so... Um, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> God damn, these two motherfuckers in the middle. He's about to that. restart his because he keeps laughing and he's still here with his head. Finish so, up the uh, goddamn story. So, <laughs> so the, dude, exactly. the dude wanted the basketball. So he came over and he like took it and he gave him a che- uh, one with no grip or whatever. So he was like upset about it. So I was so I went him over a there. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a warning, nigga. So I went over there and I was like, yo, why you take his ball, yo? He was like, yo, he was like, 
Chill, yo, y'all got that one. Leave me alone. Wait, or so whatever. You, you wanted his ball back. <laughs> Get him out of here, yo. Get him out of here, yo. Get him out of here. Get him out. It's 725. Yeah, damn. 727. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with like you. It, man. Hold on a second. To those in the penalty box, <laughs> this story set y'all up. Do y'all think Mooks should be a little bit? I know Mooks should get a You gotta warn him right now. You gotta warn him. Mooks should get a major. So um So <laughs> I go over there, I I get the ball, I take the ball back from him. And he's upset about it, whatever. So he comes over. You took the smooth back or you took the moment. You're in the penalty box, nigga. Yeah, you can't talk. So um, he comes back over there. He's got an attitude. So he starts getting in my friend face for telling me about it. So my friend, he was like. friend's face over some balls, man? Hey, yeah, come on, join us. Join us. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be me telling the story about myself, yeah. So, um. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Yo, fuck it, it was perfect. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I fucking go over there. I was like, yo, leave him alone and shit. He like jumping at my friend and shit. So, um, I pushed him. So he pushed me back or whatever. So I just hit this nigga with a two piece, a clean ass two piece, bruh. <laughs> this nigga runs out the out the gym holding his mouth and shit. Oh, oh, yo. Got fucking <laughs> See yo. He went and got his uh god brother. So his god brother came in, he was like, which one of them hit you? And he pointed to me. So like I said, I beat his god brother up a couple months ago. So he was just like, yo, stop fuck with my god brother, yo. And that was the end of the story, man. These niggas in their balls, man. These niggas in their balls. That was it, man. That's my story. Does anybody else? I don't think they have anything. John, do you have a story about a a camp story? I don't have any stories about, like, you know, guys. You never fought at camp? You never fought at camp? I might have. I don't remember. I was, I was only in camp for like two years. It was too hot. Okay. Uh, Dre, I think Dre uh, can come Drake back. I'm back. Oh, Dre's back. Now, there was this one time at band camp. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, bro. <laughs> hey, yo. The whole, the whole thing, or? <laughs> Oh my god. I actually think I'm back now. That's 727. I remember that. Oh, yeah, you should be back. Uh, before I, uh, Cam probably got Cam one probably more got minute. minute. Oh, good lord. Finsley. That that Rick. was that was funny. Was that was that just during his one time? You got a story? Did you got a story? You fit the whole thing in there or, or? <laughs> pause? Uh, Kev has a story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kev got a minute. Tinsley, uh, go ahead. <laughs> we got you we got to stick to the penalty box. Summer camp rules. stories, yeah. I never went to summer camp. I had fun in summer camp. I was but with you my never sister, got any fights? some of my neighbors. Um, you know, uh, Lindsay shot the Lindsay. That's where I met Lindsay. Okay. So no fights. Lindsay, who? I might have. This girl who went to school. First or second grade? Shot the Lindsay. So, uh, right, so Cam has uh, a story? Basically, uh, no. Link? No. Cam has a story. All right, so there was this bitch ass nigga, right? And go. I fucking hated this nigga. Okay, all right. Start. The fact is, is that I'm chilling. You get inside the little lunchroom. It's like a little, you know, we're on lunch and we're getting fed food and whatnot. And it's me, my little group of um, people and whatnot, um, somewhat nerdy people, just a whole smorgasbord of people. That's how I roll. <laughs> and it was just this annoying kid just laughing and giggling over in another section. So I'm chilling, we're rapping and whatnot. Checker comes past my freaking food. I look around saying, what happened? I see the little kid laughing. I'm like, all right, motherfucker. Cool. Whatever, I'm going to let this shit slide. Another checker gets um flies past me. This Wait, time it hits my hand. What's that? The board game pieces you're talking about? Le- like checker pieces, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like so did pieces. you tell this motherfucker to came me or I'm gonna put a crown on your head? Is that what um you- Nah I, I went over <laughs> there though no, no. I, I did go over there um after the third checker piece. It takes three. I give you three. Okay. So I go over there though. <laughs> okay. 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 So I tell um said um bitch motherfucker to I'm like, yo, stop this. Stop this. I didn't say the word stop this. I said stop this bullshit, bitch. Motherfucker. <laughs> understandable, understandable. Um, he and I have a few words. Uh, one of the words that I use to him is a derogatory term um, used for a group of people. Oh, I Lord, can't say yeah. it. 
Um, you didn't even have to mention that part. So, no, that's what escalated it because at that point in time he shoved me. So, yeah, um, okay, I think he should get a penalty for saying shove. Okay, Can't so, um, <laughs> at that point in time, the second he shoved me, um, there was no clean two piece. There was a clean like eleven piece for twelve dollars, basically. Oh. And I freaking hit him once, and I. Kneeled over him while he's on the ground, <laughs> and I went to work with that face. Hey yo, hey yo. Nah. Why? 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 all in his face, huh? Yep. Yo, Dre, you take a shot of water. Wait, yeah. wait, a wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. He almost had the quit. That was that was perfect. That well, was perfect. well done, well done. <laughs> no, I'm well, no, but it's just basically um, it took three of the other like campers and whatnot and the council would pull me off of this freaking gig because I was beating them. What? Yeah, I would like to switch this beat, please. Um, but basically he... Ha- I'm sorry, I'm not, I missed it. No, that's absolutely fine. Um, so both of his eyes were slow shut after that and he had a knot on his freaking head too. And at that point in time... So you put a crown on his head. What's that? You put a crown on his head. I did crown him, didn't I? See? <laughs> I so, the yeah. so basically that's three lumps that he had right there. And, oh, you know, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they remember yeah. you, bro. And that was it. Um... What helped me out with that is that the kid, well, like, he actually grew up and went to Central too, and I saw him in Central as well too. And he still was a <laughs> bitch ass <laughs> nigga then, but I didn't really care for him at that point. Right, you're gonna have to tell me his name off air. Off air, off air. Do um, I know him? Off air, off air, off air, off air. You don't know. It was Central Hoovers, man. I chill. Oh, no. yeah, because we beat up teachers. I, 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 I'm I, done I with my story, and I don't want to. They're gonna beat you up, though, right? Are they? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was my camp story. Camp was kind of cool, though. Oh, oh. I got a camp story. I, last thing. I thought you weren't going to talk. Um, so, it was these two boys in this camp, two of uh, gentlemen to whom did not share the same pigmentation that myself did. What? Y'all know, well, I hope who I knows know. and more knows my <laughs> sister, Bonnie. Okay. Shout out to Vine. Shout out to Vine. Shout out to Vine. I had a crush on Vine. Yes, you did. Speaking of people, speaking of people, <laughs> real quick, who uh, Mook had a crush on, Tori is getting married today. Shout out to Tori. Congratulations to her. Shout yeah, to shout out to her. Who's Tori? Fuck. This girl we grew up with. So, um, the uh, two boys, it's two brothers. The younger brother and I always had beef, and it was always about to be some action, but everybody will always separate us. However, his older brother got into Bonnie's face. Now, anybody that knows my sister Bonnie knows this. She's not about that bullshit in the slightest. So, he got into her face, called her the phrase, um, I'm not sure if I'm able to say this word on the air. A derogatory statement. Derogatory uh, statement, uh, bitch. And NB. NB. And she proceeded uh. to beat the piss. Out of this dude. No. Uh, he deserved it. Uh, he's two years older than her and about a good foot taller than her. Vonnie's never been about that bullshit. She whooped his ass. And he's screaming, get this bitch off me, Jeez, which ass. is making the ass whooping even worse. Because she starts hitting him in the mouth to shut him up for calling her a bitch. Amen. He winds up losing a fucking tooth and has a black eye. Because Vonnie's not about that life. Well, Vonnie, man. Well, apparently she is about that life. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Oh, yeah, she had got engaged the other day as well, too. Oh, well, shout out to Lonnie, too, man. Absolutely. Her um, fiance wants to come with the show. That I met um, nah. when we were on. Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. We were up there. He's a Vegas fan? Washington football team. Okay, okay. I'm losing uh, all me. of them, though. We don't call them the Washington football team. We call them what they are, the Washington racial slurs. Washington oh, racial enough. slurs. And he despises the Eagles more well, than anybody else. if he's around, he's shit, why not? I'm he, losing all of them, boy. Um, he actually um works yeah, off yeah. of Bacarabas. So I'll bring him by one day. That is shit. Uh, well, just let us know in advance. Uh, why not? That. Uh-huh. If he got an issue with the Eagles, he got to stay on. Well, I'm saying, Dre has an issue with the Eagles, We're about to have differences of opinion on football teams. No, we ain't. A what? No, we ain't salt and pepper. Well. <laughs> Yo, did you just call this man salt and pepper? Yo. Oh, man. That's a lot of hate. Yeah, well, right. So that's my, those are my fight stories at camp. Uh, Bonnie actually did a lot more damage to this dude than I did to that other dude. It kind of made me feel Hell. some type of way. But in any case, <laughs> um, my mom was proud of me for beating up this kid. And Bonnie's dad, uh, rest in peace, Mr. Kevin, was proud of her for beating up this dude for calling her an NB. So okay. I feel pretty awesome. Shout out to them and fuck that dude. 
Yeah. And our girl Red Sox, so they just beat the Yankees. But, um. Fuck the old Davis. Fuck you, did. And fuck uh, George Steinbrenner. But, um, Joe, you want to wrap this up here? Paul. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was fun. We had a good time. Uh, we introduced the penalty box, which I, I think is going to be a staple here. I think it's. I think it's, I think it's fun. That was fun. fun. How you guys? Uh, um, the of course, box. I had the most violations. I right? think you. you I think you got to chill while you're in the penalty box too. But yeah, I, I think well, it was you fun. know, you know how it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to rig something so we can't uh, hear the people in the penalty box. Maybe but um, in the bathroom, yeah, something like that. But it was fun. Uh, we had a lot of good laughs. So please. Vote on the poll uh, for our uh, top and bottom five. Yes, sir. Please email us at yes, sir. lsrpod at gmail.com, baby. lsrpod at gmail.com. Baby. Uh, visit us on uh, Twitter and Facebook at LSR, or excuse me, Liquor Store Run, and on YouTube at Liquor Store Run Podcast. Yes, sir. And leave comments, leave feedback so that we can make the show better. What you love, what you hate, you know, what you can enjoy more of, what you don't like as much. Guess you like, guess you hate, you know? Because we uh, we care about what you people think, man. What, what you people sort think. Of. Now, I care, because I'm the one that's probably going to reply. Either me or me. But uh, we're, we're the people that's going to reply, man. And we got our uh, 50th episode coming up probably in a couple of months. Can't wait. Know, maybe a month. However many episodes uh, this is, you'll, you'll figure out soon. But uh, this is going to be a best of show. And, uh, you know, since we're probably about a month out, give us uh, shit y'all want us to talk about shit you like. And maybe we can, uh, you know, talk about whatever the fuck you guys like. We're just trying to give us, you know, give you guys the best show that we can, man. True story. So, all right, so we will see you guys Bless next you. week. Same bad time, same bad channel. All right. And that's the bottom line. The small cold Fuck Moot! At LSI After Dark. That was like four seconds ago. Still fuck Moot, though. Tinsley. Fuck Amarose. I would. Right in her big old ass. It's fake. Wow. It is. It is. It is. I don't care. But seriously. That's all I got. That's all I got. You're, you're, not gonna, you're not going to talk about why fucking Amber Rose? Or? Man, she got a big ass. Hold on. She, hold on, she yeah. is the baddest bitch in Philly, all right? Okay. Is she from Philly? Oh, uh, she's not. She is, I thought she she's was. She's from South Philly, yeah. Oh, uh, well, I thought you were. Okay. Right. So we're saying she's not the baddest bitch. bitch. What's, what's oh, the, the issue here? She, she was saying, like, Philly girls she said, are She ugly. said Philly people. Basically, she said she come from a city where beauty is People not traditionally not a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so mean, she talk about the whole city, yo. Well, okay. Men and women, yo. So let me ask you a question. I think I'm a beautiful guy. <laughs> when you compare like like women from Philadelphia to women from like California, from Texas, from Virginia, that's only because y'all make it no. seem like a thing, yo. It's not, that's it's not even no, close, you man. You can't say it by comparison. Yeah. She said that women in Philly aren't traditionally attractive. That is bullshit. I don't want to hear anything about very attractive women in Philadelphia. I've seen some very attractive women from Philadelphia. And way more attractive than she was pre surgery. Exactly. Uh Well, exactly. Also, this is a case where she can't talk because. Well, it's not just that, but I'm just saying, haven't you met some very attractive women in Philadelphia? I have. All right, so I'm just saying, I don't think this is a place where... I'm just saying I've met more, many more attractive women in those other places that I've mentioned. Florida, but I'm that's not even there. close, man. Philadelphia is not known there. for beautiful people. Oh, uh, from there. The thing is, yes. is that, like it, but the one thing that you have to understand... Yeah, is it's that not my comparison. But you also have to say this, though. Um, two things. Amber Rose isn't traditionally beautiful because she's pieced together, and that's where her beauty comes from. And the places exactly. you mentioned... Florida, California, you Texas, may also Florida. have people who are put together to the, they're not traditionally to Miami. Like, boom. Virginia, yeah, Miami's wonderful. North Carolina, um, Philadelphia. I, I will say this. Philadelphia people definitely look better than people from New Hampshire. I'll give them that. Fair enough. Everybody from New Hampshire? I've been to New Hampshire. Oh, well, now, they have uh, I'm some... I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> they have some great uh, maple syrup up there. Not as good as, you know, Canadian hey, well, stuff. But yeah, I just think good. that... My fault. I think that this comes down to people not valuing this city because we are, like, um, we're taught that New York is the best and LA is the best and right. all this shit and I think that that leads to people who are not from those places not necessarily valuing where they're from no there's plenty of beautiful women walking around this city right but, now but the thing is 
The thing is, Philadelphia is mad at New York because Philadelphia is not New York. They try to be New York, no, and they're no, not. That, no, but I, that's true. That, that is true. That is but, a fact. But also, in the same token, a lot of New Yorkers hate Philly for the same reason. I agree. Yeah, that that's kind of where that comes from. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I find it ironic, and it kind of infuriates me. But I find it ironic that someone who promotes. Um, so much self worth with regards to movements like the slut walk and things of that nature, and has all these quote unquote feminist beliefs, would make a comment of likes of Philadelphia is not a traditionally beautiful place. Someone to whom is supposed to come out and have this appreciation for all life, right. for you know uplifting people, right. or trying to tear down stigmas. Use the stigma to describe a city of individuals. Her and city. Her own city that she derived from. Now, girls I, that look up to her because they're from the same area. Isn't that in itself an indictment on Philadelphia? That, no, no. That's, that's in itself an indictment of her as a human being that quit quite frankly. As a Philadelphian though, right? No, she, as a, a person who literally left out of the city, forgot where she came from, right. forgot her own values, forgot right. her own morals, and to posture in front of other people just because she has the platform to do so. Well, you can't tell people and you can't tell a city that they're not traditionally beautiful and then walk in this slut walk and talk about how people should not care about the things that other people say because you're all beautiful on the inside no matter what. You can't hype up the stigmatism that society has about traditional beauty and then tell people not to care about traditional beauty. It's, it's hypocrisy. This is why we needed Ash on here, but she canceled on this. The to, fact to is, get a woman's perspective from Philly. The fact is, is that in 20, you can't have oh, it both ways. Know, you can't. And that's why fucking her comments are wet. That's why she herself is wet. That's why she has to show her vagina on freaking Twitter so that way people <laughs> oh, can boy. talk about her. Well, I think people talk about her all the time, but that is beside What is she famous for? She is, she was a stripper. She's famous for... She was a stripper who was balls. getting ran through in South Philly, Lord Jesus. bought some body parts, and met a famous nigga and fucking got fame off of him. Came up. That's what she was. She's a socialite. I respect it. That's it. Yeah. That's I'm not, it. And I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying I don't think you need to, or uh, her in general, and a lot of people, I don't think you need to bring other people down to build yourself up. Like, you know, you're famous. You know, you, you, you know, people find you attractive or whatever. So, you know, just embrace it. Say, okay, yeah, so little girls in Philly, you can you can grow to be more than what you are. You don't have to feel bad about yourself if other people don't find you attractive now because, like, People have posted pictures of her in middle school, high school, yeah. and she wasn't the best looking. She was hit. She was hit. Well, I'm saying, as, you know, as Luke nah, says, she was that. hit. She gonna say what she gonna say. We gonna say what we gonna say. Well, yeah, I I, I agree with that. But I'm gonna say, I think, it, yeah, I, think I think with her platform, she should say, "Girls in Philly, just blossom, become the the swan, as they say, <laughs> that you're going to later. Maybe it's rough right now, but you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel." And you can become what I am or what fucking whoever else With the right is. surgery and doctors. Or well, but even or without or that. Bill Scott. Bill Scott's from Philly. Natural. She's beautiful. Uh, what about Eve? Uh, uh, Philly. You don't think Eve? Nah, nah. She got her son from Philly. I, I, I personally, look, proud of just you. because I, I personally don't I find out either Philly. one of them attractive doesn't mean somebody That's fine. Exactly what Charlie Baltimore is right bad. <laughs> but I'm saying exactly what Jay said. Just you know because I mean? maybe I a certain a person doesn't find you attractive doesn't mean that other people won't. Because when she was younger, I'm sure she was very insecure about her issue. She was envious of dark skinned women because she was light skinned and made fun of because of the fact Amber and Rose. Rose. Yes, yeah, she Amber was made Rose up. is white. She's mixed. She's mixed, dog. Uh, no, she's mixed. She's mixed. She's but human. She, she was. Well, I'm, but what I'm saying is, she was made fun of because of the fact that she was light skinned by dark skinned people, and she was envious of dark skinned people. Kind of ironic considering the stigma surrounding dark skinned people. What I'm saying is like black don't crack, baby. Well, I'm fair enough. No, but I'm what I'm saying is, you know, just keep on being yourself, keep on blossoming, and somebody will love you, man. And if we, someone we doesn't love, love you, you, it's fine because all that matters is, is you love yourself. Exactly. Like these are the things that you're supposed to be teaching or trying to help out whenever you're trying to consider yourself a feminist hero. Teach women to love themselves. Stop trying to like hype up the stigma of beauty. Like your goal is to freaking 
destroy those stereotypes. Exactly. Now you're overhyping those stereotypes. You're promoting them. You're doing the exact opposite of your message. And it's yeah. fucking annoying. And to be honest with you, it's a damn lie. Because if you're in Philly, again, we have beautiful women, just like there are beautiful women in fucking K- Kalamazoo, Michigan, in Stone Kyle Mountain, Sue. Georgia, Shout and out to all these fucking random I've actually been to Michigan, too, and the women up there are very beautiful. Exactly. And there you go. I've been to freaking Miami, Florida, Jeez. and the women down there. So you're gonna they tell me couch, you're gonna you know? tell me that Philadelphia is comparable to Miami. You're gonna look yes. me in the eye. You are out of your yes. goddamn I, I, mind. I think what Kev and what Tinsley <laughs> said before. A lot of these women aren't from Miami. They, they, hold on, they're hold, they're hold, from hold, Miami. Hold, trust hold, me. Hold, hold so on, it is on. a whole lot of models and stuff exactly and that are there from other places because they have more magazines they have the money and because they know people and that's a destination spot. I think. That's what Tim's right. trying to say earlier, right? Thank you. A lot of hookers go out there. Jesus Christ. And uh, if you want to put it like that, that's a whole bunch of... This is, yeah. that song. This is after dark. That's a slur. Now, the thing is, that's is that... I can't... There's no definitive evidence or proof that would suggest... Matter of fact, yeah, son. Nights after dark. Nights after dark. It's going to be on the show. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is it not? Probably. No, that's not. All right, but in any case, how many people can you legitimately say to yourself are naturally from one area that are more beautiful than people naturally from another area? Well, I mean, I don't know. Let's just start talking about some. I am a Canadian transplant, and there are ugly people in every. You never have you ever been to Canada in your life? Yes, actually. actually How many times? Uh, Several. Uh, Almost every single year that I was in college. All right. Well, you wasn't born there. I was. You wasn't uh, raised there. I was raised there. Actually. No, you wasn't. Yeah. There's uh-huh. a fact. I, I don't. I, I don't you know how that happened. Continue, continue. The fact continue. is, is that you was raised in the islands. Yeah. I was raised continue. in Canada. In the islands. Canada is yeah. no islands. All right, you raised in Germantown. Listen, gentlemen, listen, y'all gentlemen. both just got a warning, gentlemen. Even that is another point too. How many people in the in the island of Barbados? Are nationally born in Barbados considered to be more beautiful than people in uh, the state of California? Almost hundred percent of them. But and 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 let's let's you know let's be crystal right. clear. Yeah. There is no no comparison between Philadelphia and any one of those Caribbean islands. None. Please. Oh, man, man, every man, place has their beautiful yeah, people, the regular people. Because yeah, yeah, all them jaws look the same out there. Yeah. 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 Well, listen. Oh, go ahead, Kat. The fact is, is that you must. Start the the, the this, thing man. is, is that what you stated to me, I respect. I agree. But that is your subjective opinion. That's you. Just like earlier you said you would not be attracted to other women that were listed down. I mean, that's your opinion. I'm not going to say that's wrong. I respect it. Beauty's also in the eye of the beholder. That's, thank you. Exactly what I meant there. It's like, it's whatever you feel. Tinsley's interest in women might be different than Mook's interest. Like in y'all women. think that ugly black yeah. China woman is a child. Yeah. She's fucking hideous to me. Black oh, China, like she's she she got a nice bald body. I think yeah. she's bad. Well, she's I'm just saying, but that's but there, and we differ. The, there you go. There are three different opinions here. Tinsley enjoys her body. Mook thinks she's attractive. You think she's hideous, and that's off of one person. My yeah, social, I think funny. she looks like the freaking female Muppet. But that the freaking the rock band with um animal in them or whatnot. You know? but the fact animal. is, is that well, those are y'all three opinions, opinions, and that's what Amber Rose needs to understand. Her opinion is skewed, predicated on just nonsense and gibberish. She needs to stop, take a second back, and realize that she's adding on to society's fucked up norms of beauty. Yep. And needs to stop that shit. And that's my ending point on that. I agree with that. But like I said, every place has their beautiful people, their regular people, and their ugly people, you know. Every place does, man. And it all depends upon the person that sees them. That's it. So, anything else anybody wants to talk about on LSR After Dark? Want to talk about nipples? Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us <laughs> once again. Uh, we will see you next week. week. Same bad time, same all bad right, channel. Alright, and once again... <laughs> Lick my balls! Hashtag fuck move. Penalty box, yeah.